Ladies and gentlemen, we got 14 minutes of Bill Burr going in, destroying. Go get your, your beverages, huh? Go get your, your refreshments. We locked in. Let's go. Billy Bear, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you check out my Patreon. When did you start shaving your head? Uh, For when good. did I start shaving? Well, I shaved it. I had my first, my first special. I had it shaved. Really? I didn't. Yeah. When I saw you in New York, I'm, for glad, the Patrice I'm glad you liked it. Why is Bill talking like an evil villain? You sound like Kaiser Sosa. You sound like you're trying to <laughs> psychologically break him down through the. Oh, really? I, I see I you like losing the roof there in the back. Yeah, You'll I'm be right there bit, with me. Bit. I'll be we'll, do a, we'll do a buddy cop bit. show. Exactly. All right, two balding old guys. <laughs> exactly. Going after some hairy criminal. I'm not, I'm not a big fan <laughs> of Steve Jobs, personally. What are you talking about? I just, I don't know. I just don't understand what, why, what the big deal was with that guy. <laughs> oh <my>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. He's like Edison. I don't know. He invented no. all this stuff. Everybody, what are you but, talking but about? But did he? <laughs> did he? Did like? Did he sit down and like? I'm gonna invent the iPhone and just sat there soldering, possibly welding, right? <laughs> Didn't he have like a crew of guys helping him out? Sure, maybe he did. So why, when he went to those nerd fests, didn't he have like an like a like a chorus of scientists behind him, who helped him out too? He walked out like he was Tesla. Uh. I've actually heard Bill Burr's take on um, uh, Steve Jobs before on a clip or something like that. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why Bill hates Steve Jobs as much as he does, but I, 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 that's a little hypocrisy. Now, nah, I, I might be over it. Some people might be like, oh, he's just joking. Now, I've listened to his podcast. He's not just joking. This is actual take. It's a little disingenuous to be like Steve Jobs didn't since he didn't hands-on weld the phone and screw them together then he's some sort of fraud or since he's the producer and telling them what should go in the phone barry gordy don't touch instruments dr dre don't really touch instruments kanye don't really touch instruments that's why being a maestro in an orchestra is a job now for instance the reason why i call it a little hypocrisy i just got to be fair here billy you know i lay you to death my second favorite comedian under uh dave chappelle but for instance, your Netflix specials, right? You don't shoot those. I doubt you edit them. I doubt you cut them up. I doubt you're sitting at home touching them, right? But when people praise you or when you're talking about your specials, you're not with all the directors and cameramen. Shoot, even if you're going to uh, get an award, you really just pop up there with the director and a few people, but there's hundreds of other people that worked on it. So somebody can say you're the Steve Jobs of your comedy because uh, of your shows and stuff like that because everything put together is the product. That's what I'm basically saying. I think that's a weird, a little weird Bill Burr take. I don't know. He specifically don't like Steve Jobs. Though. I don't get it. Seldom is anything that we're seeing a one person thing. Like seldom. <laughs> like tapping into electricity. I'm not with you. I think he just kind of like told people what to invent. Which like is he just kind of came like producer, in like, yeah. I want my whole music collection in that phone. Just like you tell the camera person, I want this angle, I want this angle, make sure you cut here, then when they send, that's why they send you drafts, right? And you have to approve them. You're not editing them. Well, technically, you know, you're not putting the hands on and editing them, but you're still editing them. So if if they're sending, they're obviously sending Steve Jobs, is this the right, is this what you want? And they say no, he's doing the same thing. Get on it! <laughs> and then all these nameless, faceless guys. If this yeah, is just a made joke, it happen. Yeah. Down. And then they have the big nerd concert and he goes out there by himself. No belt, you know, sneakers on. I just didn't buy it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm a loner, man. I don't like people. But Bill Burr's just so, a curmudgeon. See? <laughs> yeah, you're not lying. I yeah. don't. I, and even him having that take when he's essentially does the same thing, <laughs> in a way, is the most Bill Burr. <laughs> no, yeah, I this know. Fifth Avenue during Christmas time, you the, can't the stand thoughts it. that go through my head. <laughs> the thoughts that go through my head. I just want to chop that tree down and watch it land on people. <laughs> oh my God. Over their head. No! I do. I do. That was the Sorry. holiday season. I know. No, I knew I wasn't going to stick to that. I, know, I, I was I trying, to be, happy. Oh, I was trying to be happy. Oh, jeez. When you took it out His on Philly. His fake ass live. Because they were a bad crowd. Oh, yeah. Your famous rant. Yep. Which you since said you like Philadelphia, and that wasn't the issue. You were just giving... People in Philly don't even remember. Uh, By the way, right now, I got my full unedited version of Bill Burr's Philly rant on my Patreon. Link is in the description. Go check that out. Basically, if you have It will never be on YouTube. I'll never upload it. It's too crazy. It will never be on YouTube. I'll never upload it. It's too crazy. Radio program. 
and they had this show called The Traveling Virus, and we were doing these, like, 10,000 seaters, and we went to Philly, um, and they're notorious for booing people, and they booed the first guy off stage, and I went on, like, three hours after that, so by the time I got up there, it was a complete shit show, and uh, I don't know. They started booing, and I snapped and decided I wasn't going to leave, and I just attacked everything that they loved. <laughs> Can women be funny? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, that question. Will you guys just fucking grow up and just sit down and write your own horse shit and come Roasted. up with it? Start your own fucking show. Have your own award show. Quit waiting around for other people to do shit for you. Oh, That's he's cooking. Problem. If you guys had your own big club and I was standing outside of it, you'd never fucking let me in. I'd start my... Oh, no, nah, he's chefing. Right to her face. That's the thing. Benny Hahn is, I'll cook you right to your face. I'll prepare your meal right in front of you. You did. My own shit. You guys got to start your own shit. You got brains in there, right? Uh, I, yes, absolutely. So write your own shit and quit your fucking whining. We're all eating a giant shit sandwich out here. Nobody cares. <laughs> I don't care. Well, when was the last time you went on stage and you killed so hard the person after you bombed? If you're fucking doing that on a regular basis, people She's are going to notice looking. regardless of what you have between your legs. Hey, weird lady. <laughs> When you're having a conversation with somebody, it's it's it, some sort of you don't have to do direct eye contact, but at least look in their direction. Like this is an '80s sitcom where you're breaking the fourth wall. You know, I feel bad for right now McDonald's. I feel bad for them. Why would you feel that? <laughs> because they backpedaled. They allowed fat people to blame them, and it's it's just over. <laughs> The second they made the salad, it was over. The salad! It was over. They said, you know what? It's our fault. Jimmy Fallon has this way of fake laughing so bad that he will take something that is genuinely funny, right? Like Bill Burr would say something genuinely funny. And then, I, then you want to laugh, and then you see Jimmy Fallon just faking the fakest, most forceful. It has to physically hurt him. <laughs> It just makes you not want to laugh. He's like, actively makes things unfunny. Like, that's a horrible host. It's our fault. It's our fault you're fat. It isn't. Everybody knows it's fattening. You don't order 50 sandwiches, right? But they're a business. If you order it, they're going to give it to you. That's not their fault. Yeah, and the, you think that that's it right there. Once they invented the salad, it's for when you get, it. It's for kids and for when you get hammered. That's what it is. You go in there, you eat, you get the bread in you. Yeah, at some point I was going to make a point here. That's why I keep looking at here and I just realize I'm blocking myself out of the camera. I love you that you have the You know what's crazy is I've noticed that a lot, some of these bits actually turned into stand-up bits. So it's kind of dope watching him like work it out. Now I don't know if these are before they become stand-up bits or afterwards. I'm just assuming some of them are before. But it's, to me, that's why I always have the parallel where I feel like rappers and comedians are so alike. When it comes to touring, when it comes to doing shows, when it comes to have, uh, setups, punchlines, there's a lot that rappers and comedians have in common. I would say that's two genres that for some reason don't realize they essentially do the same thing and, <laughs> and don't realize it yet. But watching the same way, like watching a rapper in the studio or when I'm building something and can't get to that lyric and then seeing that struggle all the way to when it manifests to a whole song, that's dope. I love that process. I'm a nerd like that, but. Jib camera for this, like it's an action movie. <laughs> let's, let's, let's swoop in at these two guys sitting in these unbelievably small chairs. <laughs> I literally feel like I'm gonna fall onto the floor. This is insane. You really went all out with the audience though. They got full size adult chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Are these like from the 20s before they had like horse tranquilizers in our food when everybody was like five foot one? And nothing making you mad? Nothing, nothing. Oh, things upset me. Yes. I, I don't know. I don't want to. Look, I fly a lot and there's this whole new thing of generation of people that take their socks and their shoes off on the plane. You got to look at their smelly feet and then they'll literally stand up and they will walk into a commercial airline bathroom. Yeah, use it and then walk and sit back down again. Hey, if you've ever done that, if you watching this video and you've ever done that, you need help. You need help. That's, That's all right. right. Yeah, if I was a dictator, those people would be eliminated. <laughs> Three times. I knew the second I saw the Christmas lights, I was like, I'm gonna bomb. <laughs> I'm gonna bomb. 
this is not not my vibe. No, this is your vibe. This is this is this is festive. This is it. You're allowed to do this. It's not festive, it's fake. Okay? And you stick it Well, it's Jimmy Fallon, so. And then you take it back out and you staple it up next year. That's what you do. I love this dude texting for the entire interview. Look at it. It's just trying to keep the attentions of millennials. It's like impossible. Look at him. He's already got the chains. He's probably got his own record label. He's like <laughs> making deals as we speak. He's got championship rings on. I don't know what you're doing, dude, but I want your life, man. You're crushing it. They look so, so are you in the I cannot get comfortable in this fucking chair. This is just like one of the worst things. It should be like in a museum. Is like the prototype. You this look what, uncomfortable. <laughs> this was the awful level of comfort. You we went from a pain. log to this, and then eventually they got cushions. <laughs> it's another guy looking at his phone. I swear to God. Just riffing. Dude, the day Jesus comes back, if he ever does, if he's even a real person, like 90% of people are going to miss it. They're going to walk right. He's going to be walking on water, and they're immediately walking by him. They're not even going to see it. Oh, yeah, and there's a drop-off in fame for Jesus at that point. Everyone was, everyone was paying attention. Now no one gives a shit. Oh, there we go. No, but now this is like the ego one. Now I'm going to be sitting above you. You got to come with two. It's fine. It's fine. Sir, the one, the one comedy through line that's working here is me shitting on this chair. Why would you take that from me? This is, you just you totally catch going against too. the fun. I understand it. But you got on camera, so I think you get paid, even though this is online. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Sugar Shay Mulsey, one of the greatest boxers of uh, all time, he's losing his championship belt in a divorce. Oh, that's losing, yeah, it's like you're trying to break a man. Why does she want those? <laughs> right? It's gonna break they, a they, man. They, they, they go with their shoes. <laughs> you know? No, and I love how when you get a divorce, all of a sudden it costs like 50 grand a month to give a kid Fruit Loops. <laughs> <laughs> You. There is an epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. I've literally reacted to this actual stand up bit. This is what I was talking about. It's like, yeah, this is, I don't know. The epidemic of gold digging, I feel like he was bald in the, in the one. Maybe I'm wrong, but like, yeah, you could. This one became a very famous bit of his. <laughs> Oh my God. On any level, your character has uh, oh a lot of tats. Yeah. Do you get those put on? You have you have a tat oh, that says. No, 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 no. I have this. That's that's all my ink. I have this uh, mic on, so. Yeah, that's all right. Be a gentleman and help me off with my. <laughs> hey, Cody, can you believe that marriage didn't work out? <laughs> Bill, quick, quick with the blink. Your relationships don't work out. <laughs> We recently got a pit bull, which I know a lot of people don't like because they ate a couple of kids. <laughs> I understand. I've seen this stand up to, uh, this guy They're with great the pit dogs. Bull, like a, a gun. Unless you're a bad owner. If you're a psycho, which I am, you can mess them up. I didn't, I didn't realize that dogs feed off your vibes. No. Like if you're cool, if you're chill, they're chilling. If you're sleeping, they're sleeping. Mm. But if you're a psycho like me <laughs> and you're watching the game on TV and you're screaming at the ref, like, you gotta be shit, mate! I didn't realize the dog was in the corner being like, yeah, you gotta be <laughs> shit. Being a mother is the hardest job out Most there. difficult job Most in the Oprah said yeah, that. Yeah, this is that. Yeah. Has, yeah. that, has your opinion on that, on that phrase changed at all since, since no. you've had a kid? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not the most difficult job on the planet. It just isn't. <laughs> Dude, I did roofing in July. I almost, as a redhead, I almost died. <laughs> yeah, he, there's people, he did this there's people that work on like oil. What was that movie that guy made? The oil, the, the fucking, you know, they there drill will be blood. oil. What is it? There will be blood. With Not the... there will be blood. The uh, out in the ocean, they would drill. I can never remember the names. Deepwater. Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, was Deepwater there. Horizon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those guys were working on on an oil rig. The fucking thing blows up. <laughs> They're on fire. They gotta jump into water that's on fire. Jesus. Salty water into their wounds. You gotta swim out you of that the oil There's and fire. Who don't like and this. then tread water. Praying to God that the Coast Guard is gonna get there before the sharks do. Now talk to me about a toddler. Oh, he was so fussy today. I just, he wouldn't eat his peas. 
He look, he added more with this one. He was like, <laughs> the Mark Wahlberg thing. So what's know. up with all these white kids now walking around trying to act like they're like gangsters? Oh, Bill looks extra white in this. Whew. You never know how white Bill Burr is until you have a, a 240p camera and have Bill Burr standing next to a white pole. Jeez, when he says he's got alabaster skin, he is not playing. The rappers. It's irritating. It's like everywhere I go, man, I figure I'd just be here in the city where you got a good mix of people. You know, I'll be like in the middle of Kansas, though. Like the whitest state ever. There'll be some howdy doody looking white kid like me. You know, I'm thinking this is one of my peeps. Somebody I can have a conversation with. All of a sudden, she's like, yo, what's up, kid? What's up, kid? I just want to be like, nothing much, Brad. You know, you're keeping it real in Wichita. <laughs> now, as somebody. Who, when I came from Nigeria, I lived in Nebraska. I've been in Kansas a lot. I know about Kansas, and I know one thing I will tell you is he's a, he's right about some people, but don't just go to Kansas thinking they're all sweet. That's the last thing. Don't pop up in Kansas thinking, oh, Bill Burr said you guys are sweet. <laughs> so you guys are sweet. That's how you go get left in Kansas. You feel me? Uh, uh, hey. Okay, that's the same thing with Kansas, St. Louis, and it can even be the white boys sometimes. I've seen some rowdy white boys. They got, yeah. How the fuck are you going to be a gangster in a state, say, like Nebraska? <laughs> <coughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is he listening to me? You know, what do you be like, all hardcore about your crop? Just in there, yo, shit was crazy, you know what I'm saying? My fucking corn wasn't rolling, my fucking scarecrow was tipping over and shit, you know what I'm saying, son? I just want to be like, dude, you're white. Go to the Gap, give in to it. Buy some Dockers, and come home. I've been going to gun. Oh my God, I'm going to send that to so many people that I grew up with in Nebraska. <laughs> like, but I will say, too, that's the same thing with Nebraska, bro. Now, he's talking about the white boys and stuff like that. I always say, don't judge a book by its cover, period. Now, Lincoln and stuff, uh, even though it has been getting kind of crazy, people people got shot. It was whatever. One thing I will say, do not go to Omaha with that energy. That's all I'm going to tell y'all. <laughs> do not, like I said in Kansas, be careful. I'm trying to help y'all. <laughs> it's all fun and games. Do not go to Omaha and do not go into all of Kansas thinking that <laughs> you're going to get this off. Gun stores and oh uh, my god, I have, and these rednecks are all telling me the same thing because I didn't grow up with guns, so they're just going, All right, you never had a gun, you want to get yourself a shotgun. It's got a great spread, Mazi. that's what they keep saying. It's got a great spread, spread. you don't even got to aim, you got a problem, you just sort of whip around. I'm sitting there, I'm like, Dude, I just want to shoot the guy, I don't have to do like a bunch of drywall work. <laughs> Reframe my diploma. So I didn't think Lance owed anybody. Uh, he didn't do anything to me. <laughs> you know what he did for me? He raised five hundred million dollars for cancer research. That's what that lie did. Yeah, yeah that was great. Yeah. And everybody had the bands on. Remember the bands? Yeah. Sure. Right? On yeah. Last, that, that blocked out the sun. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you know, it wasn't to no, block no, out no, the no sun. No, no, cancer. Yeah. <laughs> was annoying and I hated how Oprah was interviewing him and acting like she was dumbfounded that this guy would do this like she's been in show business for 35 years and she can't like wrap her head around some guy doing whatever it takes to get to the next God, level. Bill Didn't she is for the surgeon. first five years have like midgets who wanted to bang their mailman's boyfriend <laughs> and, she, and she didn't want to. Nah we need B Bill Burr in a, in a cypher in a roast battle. I'm, I'm sure if Bill Burr as funny as this sounds all you gotta do is roast somebody, make it rhyme. I bet you Bill will have a hot 16 for a battle. Ready? To do it. <laughs> she didn't want to do it. Cause he's, she didn't have the power. He cleaning them up. So she wrote it out. And then when she could make a good decision, she did a show. But she stood on the heads of those little people for five years until she got. And then she, she's sitting there across from this guy like. Like, so how could you, you know exactly what he's doing. Oh, uh, not hamburger or sister again. That's for family here. Why can't mom make dinner? Ask her. She's the one who abandoned her post. Now after doing all the lady work, I got to leave to go do some man work.
And is anybody going to get me flowers and tell me I'm beautiful? No. No one's out there marching for old Frank Murphy. He just watches the sands of his miserable life gather at his feet while his wife, the modern woman, throws on a pantsuit every morning and just... There's my worker, B. <laughs> um, what is your go-to dance move when challenged? Uh, waiting for the director to say cut. <laughs> that was my go-to dance move. Well, I'll tell you, when I, when I saw my kid, it wasn't, uh, I didn't have, like, everyone's like, you're going to burst down crying, you're going to blah, blah, blah. I was, like, scared of it. Like, I was just sitting there like, hey, yeah, buddy, like, I didn't want to touch it. <laughs> and then, like, afterwards... They... Low-key, I fully understand what he was saying when it comes to the fear. Now, I bust it down in tears because I'm a softie. But when that baby looked so fragile when it came out, just like, I don't want to touch it. I, I don't want to touch it. My big clumsy mittens. Look at how big my hands are. I don't want to touch it. I got big clumsy mittens, bro. They give it to me and I'm hanging with her for the first time. <laughs> I was scared. I'm such nothing. a fragile baby. And I literally put my head down on the bassinet. I'm going, oh my God, I'm a serial killer. Like, I, I don't feel things. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bill, do you Google yourself? Because it was like Googling the, the show. No. God knows. I was Googling the show. I get trashed enough on Twitter. You, what, do you know when I did the show what? last night? This is how like, like the millennials are, right? Somebody, uh, I was wearing this exact same thing. You know, I'm on the road, so I got a nice stain <laughs> on my shirt. So I was wearing this exact same thing. I go on Twitter, and somebody wrote, uh, you know, Bill Burr last night dressed like, like an out of shape Jerry Seinfeld. What? So, like, yeah, I wrote back. I can't say what I wrote back. I wrote back. <laughs> you, you did? You so and so. Yeah, it's like, why don't you heckle me when you. <laughs> Bill Burr!